Hey everyone. Well, holy smokes, what a night I had with Dirty Loops. I'm going to try to run down everything just off the top of my mind here. I don't have anything prepared. I wanted to get this out as quickly as possible. Basically, I bought two VIP tickets, which included the meet and greet, and it was um, also watching the sound check. And I invited my friend uh, Sarah to come with me. So we got there early enough to get in. Uh, around four o'clock, they opened the doors and they directed us to go directly to the stage for sound check. Now, I um, I wasn't sure how it was all going to go, and and I had wondered about um, the fact that like I hadn't spoken to Jonah in so long, and he didn't even know I was going to be there that I really questioned whether or not he was uh, going to remember me. And I, you know, because, man, let's face it, this guy, he, he meets some pretty um, incredible people and uh, and a lot of them. So I just, I, you know, I'm just a, just a guy on the YouTube channel. So, you know, I was prepared to, um, uh, to, to, you know, be okay if, if, uh, you know, he just gave me a slight, you know, head nod or a wave. So let me, <laughs> so let me show you the video of um, what happened when Dirty Loops came out on stage to do their sound check. All right, check this out. Yes, sir. Hello, everybody. Yeah. Henry. Yeah. Thanks for letting us know. We're gonna start by playing two songs and kind of sound check a little bit and. Then we will go to wherever the first thing is and say hi to you and take pictures with all of you and yeah. do whatever. It's Jeff! Anyone wants. <laughs> we didn't reach the Jonah! Yeah, 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 we're gonna put up and start doing this. Thank you everybody, like, it's a real pleasure to have you here, so thank you so much. Yeah! yeah. Jonah! Okay, so you could imagine how happy I was, right? Because <laughs> he instantly recognized me and uh, let me know. So uh, you can't hear it very much on the video. And actually, thank you very much for my viewer, Bimbo, who shot this footage. Um, there were a number of friends of the channel that were there that night that came up and said hi to me. And I got to hang out with, with most of them. So that was really cool. Um, shout out to those to you guys um and i'll be showing some pictures of of uh all my friends of the channel in, in this video so anyway yes so jonah said to me he said hey man i, I want to talk to you you know so i was like oh yeah okay great so after they did their sound check which i got to tell you man for a sound check i mean i was so floored by what they played. They played two songs. They played Follow the Light and followed it up with World on Fire. And it was so freaking amazing. We end up going over to the merch table. So after they're done playing, I basically, since I had been there the week before, I knew the fastest route to the merch table. So I ended up being the first one in line, which was, which was really great. Um, I had just been there to see Gary Newman the week before. So I'm, I'm standing there and um, the guys go and they sit down. Okay. They kind of, our backs are to them as they walk up and then they go and sit down at the merch table. And uh, I'm standing there and then the guy, the handler, I call him, uh, said, okay, you know, go ahead and, and step in front, you know, in front of the table and you can get your, you know, talk to them and get your autographs and all that. So as soon as Jonah saw me, he turned around and he said, oh, I got to give this guy a hug. So he stood up out of his chair. He came over and he gave me a big hug. And he said, oh, man, so great to see you. And um, gave me the warmest welcome. And then uh, I got a picture together with, uh, with Jonah. Um, the warmest, friendliest guy and very tall, as you can see in the picture. I'm not particularly short. Um, this is a tall guy. And um, so I got to take a picture with him and he just gave me the warmest welcome. And um, all my fears of him not remembering me just went out the door because he most definitely remembered me. And uh, he uh, he turned around and 
uh, kissed this woman who was standing next to him who had like the merch on and she was selling the merch. And I was like, that's gotta be his wife. So I, I said to Joan, is this your wife? And, and he goes, yeah. Cause I had heard he gotten married and he goes, Oh, and then, so he introduced her and I shook her hand and she's like, Oh, Jonas told me all about you. And I was like, Oh my God, I'm so totally floored. And, um, so she, she said, uh, Oh, then Jonah goes, I, I, I wear the shirt that you sent me, uh, when I work out. And then she said, yeah. And he has the backpack that you sent him because early on when I was doing interviews, I would give gifts to the people I would do interviews, uh, with, and I sent Jonah a t-shirt and a backpack and, uh, from the channel, sister Tully studios on it. And he, uh, he goes, yeah, man, I wear your shirt when I work out and, and, and your backpack is here. I took it on tour with me. So she's like, yeah, it's in the, it's in the, the, the dressing room. It's in the back. It's got your backpack. And I was like, oh my gosh, I was so floored by that. And so he goes, you have anything you want to sign? So, so I ended up, uh, giving him, this is the VIP pass, pass, the Cappy, the, the, what is it? The Cap, Cappy Burrow. Capybara, what is the name of that animal? Um, then I had the guy sign it. So Jonah was signing this. I, t I told Henrik, um, I said, hey, um, Skeb sends his regards. And and then he's like, oh, man, you know Skeb? And so we were talking about Skeb. And, and uh, you know, I was, I was really enjoying having a conversation with Henrik. It's the first time that I'd spoken to him. And uh, so we chatted for a little bit. And then... Um, Aaron was, was sitting off to the side, uh, and he had, um, a mask on and, you know, he's protecting himself, uh, you know, from germs and all that, uh, especially these guys are on the road and they're exposed to a lot of people. So I, I, you know, I said, kudos, man, smart for, uh, you know, watching after yourself in that respect. So he gave me a, uh, an elbow hello. And, um, and I told him, <laughs> I said, I said, Hey man, you make my heart race when you play. I said, just even in the sound check, man, my heart was racing as I was listening to you. And he cracked up and he said, oh, man, thank you so much. I appreciate that. And, you know, that was all good. So um, basically, I had mentioned to Jonah that uh, I'd lost contact with him. And he goes, hey, man, well, you get my email. So he said, you know, ask that guy for my email because I, I guess it was their manager. Um, not exactly sure who he was, but it was somebody who was watching over them. And he said, yeah, get my email from, from, from this guy. And, um, yeah. So, so anyway, oh my gosh, that was, it was just so amazing to, to meet, to meet them. And, uh, so I ended up getting like from the merch table, I got this hat. This hat is so awesome because, um, this is embroidered. This is embroidered. It's a really high quality hat. And then I got this, um, sweatshirt. And, um, I got Sarah one also, and, um, yeah, the, their merchandise is fun. And then for, um, for the VIPs, we all got a free hat. So this is the hat with the, uh, that, that, uh, winged character that they have in, uh, the little animal that they have on all their stuff. So they gave us one of these as part of the VIP experience. So that was fun. And, um, yeah, so. Let's get into the show. So they come out, and I'm, I'm going to put up a set list for you guys so you can see um, what they played that night. So I'll, I'll put that up for you. Okay, so I'm going to run down all of the video footage that I have from the songs that they performed. So uh, kick back and enjoy this and um i'll come back after we watch this performance of these songs all right <laughs>
we're kind of known in the horror genre of music, so we're gonna play something really scary now. The things that stood out to me as an audience member about this performance, I want to run them down for you. Through all of their performing live, has they have got their show down so, so tight. It is unbelievably tight. And these guys have earned it because they have toured like nonstop for a very, very long time. And they've got their, their, their shit together. <laughs> Excuse me. But that's the only way I could describe it. But um, some of the things that really stood out to me were the modifications that they did to some of the songs to put these stabs and accents. These interesting little things that aren't in the original recordings that they added more to it. So they gave you more than what you're used to. And and that surprised me because I was like, they could have just played everything the way that it was, you know, on the, on the recordings, but they, they added more stuff. So seeing them live, it was just mind blowing. So that was really cool. Some of their accents that they were doing together were just uh, unexpected and so damn tight. It was amazing. Um, so that's one thing. So another thing is like, if you know Jonah and how he sings, he does uh, some pyrotechnical types of, of runs and stuff that, you know, you wonder if he would back off a little bit and play it safe and and maybe not do those really really intense runs live well he does them live and <laughs> there are there are spots in the performance where he really stuck out and you could hear him doing these runs and i could not believe he could do that live these these runs were so pitch perfect and so accurate that i i was just my jaw was on the ground watching him do this live i mean it was so 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 incredible um another thing that i noticed was seeing aaron play live is a whole nother experience than seeing him on a video uh i was so blown away by aaron um watching him do what he does live those quick fills those uh, um just oh my god just just the way he plays and everything that he did uh, that you've heard him on the recording, he does that live. He does all of that tricky stuff live. Amazing, amazing drummer. Um, and then Henrik, what a wonderful person to watch play. He was so prominent on stage doing what he does and also doing some improvisational stuff and, uh, looking awesome and and he, i got to see him play his pink bass which which i think uh went out of tune <laughs> i think that's i don't know if i got the footage of that but it did go out of tune so he had to switch bases back but um nonetheless uh he really cut through the lick the cut through the mix especially when he went up into the high range and and you could really hear what he's doing but um yes uh when he took a solo on i think it was runaway yeah, I think it was Runaway. So he got to use his effects and stuff. And then that was so fun hearing that solo live because he's got all those really cool effects on it. So that was a lot of fun. Jonah is so much fun. He's got that silly side to him and he plays with the audience and he dances up there and he just entertained everybody and his heart came across and he's very disarming <clears throat> that's that's the thing that gets me the most is how disarming that he is because you know here he is just a master at what he does and some of his keyboard solos were so jaw-dropping you know and it's like nothing he just pulls these solos off like it's nothing and it's like you know uh mind absolutely mind-blowing what he was doing live and you know, he's got this ability to be able to play the way he does, but he comes out and he does fun stuff and funny stuff. And he's like plugging his nose uh, during one of the songs when he was singing and got all nasally. And that, that was just, it was a total blast. And he had a, a dance contest with us and that was so much fun. So, um, yeah, 
what what an amazing amazing time and um yeah as i'm wrapping things up here i just want to put up some pictures of um the friends of of stratelli studios that i got to meet there and you guys were so so kind and i so appreciate you and thank you for making yourself known to me and letting me know that you're fans of the channel and that um you you uh you know were available to hang out and that was really nice that we all got to hang out together while we watched the the concert and uh, again kudos to bimbo who shot the footage of uh jonah coming out uh i wouldn't have had that footage if it wasn't for him and and he's been working on his own video so um yeah um so cool um night to remember i have um uh, corresponded with with jonah so we are back sending messages back and forth that's about it i hope you enjoyed my tails and uh you can't get that though because the dirty loops pillow they don't sell that was something i made so <laughs> but uh you get this you could get this you could get that hat um but you know you gotta pay for this um but uh yeah so anyway oh i'm going to see if um jonah wants to come back and do another interview i also uh would love to hit up uh, henrik and Aaron and see if they'd be willing to uh, sit down with me too. And uh, that would be amazing to be able to do that. So, uh, life is good. I'm so very happy. Couldn't have gone any better. My heart is full. All right. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.